Hello, Calvin Watkins here at the Dallas Morning News, and we're doing uh, our draft series with some of the Cowboys coming uh, rookies. And today we're talking to Neville Gallimore, uh, Oklahoma defensive tackle. What's going on? Thank you for joining hey, you. on Zoom. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Now, I, I got to get down to business real quick. You got a phone call from Jerry Jones, and Joe Montana gave you a shout out on Twitter. So t tell me about those two events. You know, obviously I didn't know if you knew Joe Montana, but to get the call from Jerry Jones, one of the you know, richest owners in sports, you know, what do you think about those, those two events happening for you? I mean, it's funny how, like, you know, you, you, you talk to a lot of your, you know, your, your friends or guys that are actually, you know, had opportunity that are playing the league right now, and they, they always tell you, like, hey, you know, as soon as you get that call, your life is going to change. <laughs> and then for – you, you know, and you understand, you, you know, you say, I bet, like, of course, but it, it's different when you actually get that call. So, mm -hmm. and it, like, it's one of those things where I didn't know whether I was going to laugh, cry, or <laughs> scream, but it was definitely a surreal moment. Um, mm -hmm. it, was, it was definitely worth the wait. Um, and again, it's just one of those things where I did, the draft is, it's a, <laughs> the draft gets the best of you, you know, as your, emotion, <laughs> as your emotions going crazy. Right. And, but again, when I got that call from Jerry, it was uh, Mr. Jay Jones. It was kind of a, a surreal moment, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I definitely, you could say, I, I kind of, you know, broke down. I was, I was confused. Yeah, yeah. I was nervous. I was anxious. <laughs> you know, it was, it was like, wow, like who would have thought? And it's funny because, you know, just speaking this stuff into existence. Because I, mm -hmm. I remember, because I've been training out here with Mama Sports Academy at the, you know, at the mm -hmm. Star at Baylor Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Frisco. So I gotta. You know, I was pointing out, I said, man, like, I, I, I love this area. I love this place. Like, I, <laughs> I mean, it's going to be unfortunate that I got to move. That I got to move because I kind of already kind of grew accustomed to this place, too. Mm. You know, Jerry Jones, uh, Mr. Jones called me. He was like, wow. Like, you know, he's really he's speaking into existence. But, you know, put your head down at work. You'd be surprised where you end up. Right. And then, obviously, Joe Montana gave you a shout on Twitter. I don't know if you knew who Joe Montana was, but obviously. Absolutely. Yeah, it resonates being, you know, pick number 82 with him. And how did that feel when you said someone actually paid attention to where I got selected, a Hall of Fame quarterback, you know? You know, that that was huge for me. But the funny thing is I really didn't understand, like, the magnitude of mm -hmm. what he was saying about being the 82nd overall pick. To, right. It's funny, my right. Elon coach, my coach Tib, he hit me up. He's like, man, you know, Coach, uh, you know, Mr. Montana, you know, reached out to you. He's like, I don't think you understand. How big? And I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, you know, Hall of Fame, you know, quarterback, you know, playing the league, did all. He's like, no, 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 no. like, he was the 82nd pick overall as well. Mm. So, you know, mm. just taking understanding. And obviously, you know, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I'm happy. I'm excited. But you know, I'm also, you know, I was done celebrating and stuff like that. I'm kind of mm -hmm. at a point where, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of ready to get, uh, get after it. But that, that was, that was a blessing in itself. But you know, mm -hmm. I'm kind of at a point where, hopefully, this COVID <laughs> stuff kind of calms down so we can get to work. But right now, I'm mm -hmm. just, you know, I'm, I'm ready to start, you know, to earn my keep now. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of COVID, when's the last time you got a shave and, and, and a cut? <laughs> I, I, I'm out here looking like a madman out here. So. <laughs> but it's fine because I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> That's right. Now, uh, Cowboys got some Canadian players on the team. Uh, Tyrone Crawford, uh, LP Lattisville, the longtime center. I don't know if you've been able to reach out to any of those guys at all in the last week or so? Yeah, no, I was actually fortunate, you know, Tyrone Crawford, he, he gave me a shout out mm -hmm. on, uh, you know, on Twitter and that was love. Mm -hmm. But obviously I understand because, you know, a lot of the better guys, they're obviously uh, further along just because, you know, being in the system already. But, you know, again, being a rookie and, you know, really having a, had the opportunity to get accustomed and stuff, you know, right. I'm, I'm kind of just in the, again, in the waiting room once again, you know, to get things up and rocking. <laughs> so, I mean, mm -hmm. the situation for me now is just making sure, you know, I stay ready so, you know, I don't mm -hmm. have to get ready. I got a question for you. You're Canadian. Yes. How come you're not some defenseman playing for the Toronto Maple Leafs or the Boston Bruins or, or something like that? How, how, how come football is, is your life's calling instead of, you know, playing on the ice? Wasn't a great skater. <laughs> Wasn't a great skater going, uh, had great feet, but, you know, even as a big guy, but it just never translated onto the ice. So those dreams were kind of dead right off the gate. 
Right. Okay. That's good. Now, do you follow the sport at all, or are we? You know, I want to start. I, mean, I, I do. Canada. You know, I mean, I do to a certain extent, but you know, Toronto Maple Leafs. You know, shout out to them. But Ottawa Senators. You know, that's my hometown. Mm -hmm. Ottawa's my city, so right. I got to get up to where. It's, so that's that's my team. Mm -hmm. You know, by force. So, you know, again, anything that anything that's for the city. You know, mm -hmm. and that's a professional team. That's our team. That's home. So, I got to mm -hmm. represent them. Mm -hmm. and now. Under normal circumstances, after the draft, the next weekend would be the rookie mini camp, or maybe two weeks after that. Obviously, as we, as we said earlier, COVID nineteen has delayed those types of things. So you had rookie meetings, um, the virtual. How did that go with with coaches and everything? Because normally I mean, you're on the field running around. Right. So I mean, uh, the thing is, you know, again, this situation we're in, we just kind of got to take it by day by day. Like I said, you know, the rookies kind of have it different than the veteran guys in terms of, you know, how much uh, information we can get at this point. But, mm -hmm. again, it's just a matter of just playing the waiting game and I feel like the best thing we can all do as rookies is just making sure we're staying in shape. Mm -hmm. Now, where can you stay in shape? I mean, there's only so much you could do. I don't know if you got dumbbells at the, at the crib or push-ups. How, how do you do that? Um, you, you know, the fortunate thing is, you know, Obviously, you know, everything is limited. So, you know, the mm -hmm. fortunate thing is I actually have access to like a track right. uh, here. And then, you know, my agency, you know, Balanger Group, they just do a great job. You know, they, they have a place uh, 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 in Dallas that, you know, they kind of give me an opportunity to, right. to train and get what I need, which, you know, I'm definitely appreciative mm -hmm. about that because I know that there's some guys that obviously have it even uh, worse than I do. So, I mean, mm -hmm. but even you know, it's the fact that I have an opportunity to, to train uh, there. It kind of helps, but obviously I'm still uh, limited in that regard. So right now, not only do we have some Canadians on the squad, we got some Sooners. You know, the first yes. CD Lamb, uh, the tight end Blake Bell, the uh, Cowboys signed Joe McCoy for agency. So have you linked up? I mean, obviously you know CD and and Blake, but have you linked up? Had a chance to talk to Gerald? Just just bond. Uh, the, you know, families like your families keeps following you around. You know? Right, 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 right. So definitely had an opportunity. I, I, I spoke to, uh, you know, uh, Gerald, you know, a couple of times, actually. And, you know, he's really just, so far, he's really been like, you know, a big bro. And I think that's something to have that uh, OU connection and just having that D-line connection as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he's really, you know, he's really, you know, willing to take the steps. And obviously, I got to want it, but just take those steps in terms of just helping me because, it, you know, his, his journey and how he got to be where he did, he had it, he had it a lot rougher. You know, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, and then the fact that he's willing to help me and kind of, you know, yeah. you know, be my big bro, it definitely it helps. And it says a lot to the kind of person he is. What are, what are the Cowboys getting in CeeDee Lamb? What are, what are they getting? They're just getting a dog, man. They're just getting a <laughs> playmaker. He, he's literally, uh, he, he's a running back that can catch is what I say. Mm. You know, literally, you don't really see, I mean, I could be biased, but, you know, he's my favorite receiver. But, you know, again, it's just, you got a guy, as soon as you put the ball in his head, he's trying to go and score. And mm -hmm. then you, you can watch it. The film doesn't lie. He's definitely excited to watch. You know, every Saturday, I'm always like, man, what, what's what's CD going to do today? You know what I mean? And, and right. It's a credit to him because I see at practice, you know. So it's mm -hmm. not a fluke. Like, what he does on Saturdays isn't a fluke because mm -hmm. when you just watch the way how the man practices, you know, the way he mm -hmm. grinds, you know, the, it, it speaks to his character and, you know, the kind of ball player he is. Mm -hmm. We always talk about players in, in, in this process, do they fall, you know, or do they fall or do they get drafted where they're supposed to get drafted? Did you follow where you might go? Did you care? You know, I mean, I, I, I really, I try my best not to even get caught up in that, all that right. stuff. Just, I mean, obviously, you know, you go through this process, you know, you know, your pe people are going to tell you what you want to hear people are gonna mm -hmm. you know, and then even at times you know it could be accurate information with the agents and all that stuff but the thing about the draft like you just don't know it's right. unpredictable and you know i understand how teams you know teams get you know they they get to a point where they stop really you know revealing information mm -hmm. you know so i mean again it's just the, the bottom line is again i'm, I'm happy but i'm mm -hmm. too you know it's mm -hmm. still a blessing and, and mm -hmm. to honestly just to be a part of this whole draft process um it's a lot, and, and it's a tough journey because there's there's guys that still. Uh, this is a dream that we are. Everyone who plays football, who loves football, has a dream. It's mm -hmm. you dream of getting your name called. Right. You know whether, right. you know, first, seventh, <laughs> uh, drafted. You know it, mm -hmm. it really doesn't matter. Just getting an opportunity to say you could put on a 
um, mm -hmm. and grind, you know, like yeah. that's, it, it, um, not everybody gets that opportunity. So I'm still grateful. And I'm sure everyone who is, has an opportunity to compete for a spot is grateful too. You ran a four seven nine forty at the combine. You're a big yeah. man, but maybe you're not a big man. <laughs> Look, uh, little little man trapped in a big man's in a very big man's body. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Well, yes. When you when you when you see the, the numbers four seven nine at the combine, you like, did you surprise yourself or was that what you were looking at? No, that was a number that I I, I wanted to hit because mm. the thing is, you know, it's just funny because. I feel like the combine, this whole process has a way of humbling you. So, you know, mm -hmm. you, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first guy that's like, yeah, you know, I'm I'm a 4 eight guy, you know, or I just need to run a 4 nine. My thing was mm -hmm. like, I feel like, you know, it's either you're a fast guy or you're not. <laughs> but I know I'm a strong guy, but obviously in terms of throwing up the bench, you mm -hmm. know, uh, I was working to try, you know, get as high as possible. Obviously, I wasn't really happy with the bench. I know I'm a strong, I play stronger than what that shows, but I know for me, I, I took more pride in and this is being a fast guy, you know, mm -hmm. you know, being a guy with quick feet. So my thing was when I got there, I was like, you know, I got to get out, but I just got to run as fast as possible, run, mm -hmm. run hard. But I, I was, it felt good. But then, like I said, I didn't really know until after, to, you know, after like, hey, hey, man, like, you, <laughs> you were moving. And I'm like, appreciate that too. Like, no, 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 like, you're moving. You ran 485 and you ran a 47. I'm like, okay, that's good. And then once I got done with the combine, I see my, my phone going, uh, hey, why? But it, it, it was good because it's one thing to say a number and then it's another thing to, you know, hit that mark. So. Right, right. Uh, one last thing before we let you go. Are you more comfortable three tech, zero tech? Or what, is, what are they telling you about where, where you need to be? Or you can play it all? It, it's, I mean, like, I feel like another thing that I'm, I'm very versatile, right? So, mm -hmm. like, I, and then this past year, I, I kind of had to do both, like, equally. You know, yeah. so I had to play in the nose. I had to play three. I had to play shade. And then I played in the four eye. So, but really, you know, <laughs> in the nose, I, I feel like I can be dominant uh, at both. So really, it's just a matter of where they see him on the best fit. And, you know, I feel like, you know, at the next level, you got to be able or ready to play opposition anyways. Do you feel like a pro yet, or do you need a, a couple more weeks yet? Has it hit you yet? Or no? I mean, I, just because, again, with all the stuff's going on, it's like, I feel like, again, I, mm -hmm. it feels, you know, definitely, it feels a little different. But again, it's like, it won't, I feel like it won't hit me till, you know, maybe you start getting into it. Maybe that first game, God willing. Yeah. You know, just yeah. really, again, yeah, it feels a little different for sure. <laughs> right. Well, Neville, I appreciate the time, man. I, I know you're, you're a busy guy. You got things going on. You got family. And obviously, you start to stay in shape for this upcoming football season, whenever it starts. But I, I'm very, very appreciative that you joined us uh, on our Zoom uh, rookie chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for having me. All right, cool. We'll see you down the line. See you a couple of weeks, maybe in California or at the Star, whenever football starts. All Absolutely. Right. Th thanks Thank a lot. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's Neville Gallimore. I'm Calvin Watkins for the Dallas Morning News. Thank you. We'll see you next time.